Hello there. Here I have a spring launcher set up on the side of a hill like so. You take your block, load it into the spring, you can press the spring some amount delta x, and then it launches the block up the side of the hill. Also keep in mind that this hill is frictionless, and what we want to know is how far does the block travel up the side of the hill before turning around. And what we're going to see is that we can use the conservation of mechanical energy to effectively trivialize this whole problem. But first off, why can we use conservation of energy? Well, let's go ahead and quickly think about the forces at play throughout the problem, right? First, we're going to have our Hooke's Law spring force, right? When we're actually compressing the spring. We're going to have gravity acting throughout the problem, mg, and we're going to have normal forces, right? We're going to have normal forces due to the contact of the block with the hill. Now, now Hooke's Law spring forces and gravitational forces, these are conservative, right? We know that these are conservative forces, and our normal forces, which are always perpendicular to the block's motion, they're perpendicular to the block's motion, and therefore they do no work, right? These normal forces are never going to do any work on the block. And so we make that recognition, we go, okay, there aren't any non-conservative forces at play. Because there aren't any of these gross non-conservative forces in the problem, we can use the conservation of mechanical energy. So great, let's go ahead and do that directly. Let me go ahead and erase these uh, little notes here, and let's use the conservation of mechanical energy. So what's going on initially? Well, at first, the block is just compressing the spring, right? It's getting loaded into the launcher. All of its energy is going to be stored in this spring potential energy. So EI is going to be 1 half times K times delta X squared. What about its final energy, right? We want to know how far does the block travel before turning around. So the block is going to make its way up the hill, and it's going to reach some peak height. Let me go ahead, we're tracking the center of the block here from its kind of initial position here. And so let me go ahead and call this change in the block's vertical position, we'll call this delta H. And so at this peak height here, is the block going to have any kinetic energy? No, of course not, right? This is the turnaround point for the block. It's just about to turn around and start sliding back down the hill, which means it's instantaneously stationary. So all of the energy in that moment is stored in the potential energy, mg delta h, right? And these guys are equal to each other. So let's appreciate the statement here. Because the total mechanical energy of this block here is conserved, we can treat this problem like a simple conversion. My block's spring potential energy simply got converted into another form it all got converted into gravitational potential energy. Now, we don't really want to solve for delta H here. What we really want to find is how far the block travels along the surface of the hill, which means what we really want to track here, let me go ahead and indicate here, we want to track this distance up the side of the hill, I'm going to call this L. But look how easy this is going to be, right? We have, we have this right triangle here, let me go ahead and fill in the triangle for us, and we have this angle, I'm just going to move this angle theta here up, right? So we have this right triangle with an angle theta, and I want to rewrite delta H in terms of L, right? So basic trigonometry, sine theta is going to be equal to delta H over L, or L sine theta is equal to delta H. Let's plug this right in for delta H. And so we're going to have one half k delta x squared is equal to mgl sine theta. And so solving for L, we're going to have k delta x squared over 2 mg sine theta. And there we go. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, let me know in the comments and consider subscribing to the channel. I love to hear about people getting on board. But other than that, thank you so, so much for watching.